<laughs> Sony Pictures has officially announced that an animated Spider-Man movie will be heading to the big screen. The creative team of Phil Lord and Christopher Miller, who have done films such as the Lego movie, 21 Jump Street, and Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs will produce and write the treatment for the film. Sony also pointed out that this new animated Spider-Man will be separate from the live-action Spider-Man movies that Sony will be producing. The new animated Spider-Man movie is currently set to hit AMC theaters on July 20th, 2018. Christian, what do you think about this announcement from Sony? Well, you had me at Lord and Miller, um, but I also think it's, I think it's pretty smart. I think it's smart in the new regime. I think that it's very similar to what Warner Brothers did. with. They have so many different animation properties with Batman and, and what they've done over the years with, with those properties. And and I don't think you always have to connect the universes to make it, oh, everything that happens in this animation is going to affect the Sony movies. I think it's just to get excitement for the character, get a show with talent like this, with Lord and Miller, that you can make a fun animation film or a really good one. And to have those guys who clearly know what they're doing right now, they're on fire, put that team together, and I'm, I'm all for it. I I don't know how I feel this. It's, I, I some question marks. Number one, it seems questionable. Why, when you're running a live action Spider Man franchise and you've got the live action Spider Man also popping up in some Marvel films, why create a separate universe, separate thing, animated movie thing at the same time? However, that gets tempered by exactly what you said. Lord and Miller coming on uh, right now. I will check out anything they want to do. I mean, if they signed up to do the new Smurfs movie, I'm suddenly excited <laughs> about the new Smurfs movie, right? The other thing here, though, is I think you also nailed the whole thing about the corporate culture at Sony right now. They want to put – the new regime wants to put their stamp on things. This is something they never did before. With Sony. Now, Spider-Man is Sony's most the, – historically, their most profitable franchise ever. That franchise has made over $4 billion for that company. For them to come in and do something as radically different as this – could be them putting their identification stamp, stamp on this, which could be really interesting. So, well, I have some apprehensions about this. There's enough intriguing qualities about this to make me hang in there. So yeah. I'm going to kind of take a wait and see mentality for this. At least, what about you? Yeah, me too. I remember with all those leaked emails from Sony that Sony were trying to get Lord and Miller on board to head up their animation department. And uh, Lord and Miller weren't so sure about it. They weren't so sure about the culture, but it seems like they've got them on board now. And they just constantly surprise you with what, what they choose and then what they deliver. All their projects like Cloudy the Chance of Meatballs, Lego Movie, 21 Jump Street are all things that on the surface sound ridiculous and they make them work. So with them on board, I'm there and I'm looking forward to seeing Spider-Man with their brand of irreverent humour. I think that's going to be fun. 